Hello guys, welcome to Quarantine Reviews. I did this a lot, nobody, be uh, not many people watched it. But then I realized, wait a minute, COVID vaccine, like, came out recently. So quarantine might end, like, late, late, late 2021. So I, so I thought, what, what should I call it? And I'm thinking about couch potato reviews, because I'm a couch potato. And I still gonna review this stuff. Anyway, let's just talk about the Tom and Jerry and series. I despise it. But the passion. It is literally just the movies. It's literally just like the Wizard of Oz or Charlie the Chocolate Factory. But then they just like sandwich Tom and Jerry in. Like, let's say the movies are a sandwich. The bread... Uh, the bread is the, the bread is the content, the thing that holds it up, or the story, or the plot, or whatever. The thing that holds up the sandwich and makes it call it a sandwich, or it could be like a keto sandwich with lettuce. I don't know. Then you add, then you add the cheese, the songs, the the love interest, it's things that are kind of cheesy but still kind of enjoyable and hearty. Then we have the meats, the real juicy parts, the things that make the the readers hooked. And then we have the vegetables, which are kind of fillers, but some people will kind of enjoy it. I mean, we gotta add them in the movie. And then boom, you got a movie sandwich. And Tom and Jerry is a bag of chips. They're enjoyable, they're nice on their own. Like you can have a bag of chips and a sandwich. Just once you, once you combine them, you, you, you basically, you basically, uh, you basically lost your uh, get out of jail free card from Monopoly. Permanently. You, you, like, I, like, the FBI will immediately knock on your door and, and slap you in the knees. And I'm telling you, these movies aren't good. Like, at all. And also, they're also kind of creepy. Like, the reason why they were live action is because it's more, uh, because it's kind of, I think it's more cheaper. Because instead of like spending all that money on ink and cells and digital stuff, you just, you know, just, you just like do it. Or you can get like a crew yourself or friends or whatever. But then, if you, uh, but if you try to make live action movies, like cartoons, one, you're gonna have to find out how to incorporate them. Because in live action movies, the designs may be too complex. So they're probably gonna so you so they're probably gonna have to, you know, um they're probably gonna have to find a way to make the designs less complex. And two, it's live action. And live action, it's normal for someone to do this. Or this. But once you put that in an animation form, it's just, it seems kind of horrifying. Like, has anyone really, like, looked at the faces? Like, it's horrifying. It's, it's weird, though. I don't understand why, um, I don't understand why they ever thought this was a good idea. I mean, it makes sense how, why they would, like, try this out. Because, like, uh, Warner Brothers had, like, Tom and Jerry just, like, in the vault. Like, just rotting away. So they were like, eh, let's just grab some popular movies. Also, I, also, it, why do they, why do they try play them in this? Why don't they just make new Tom and Jerry cartoons? Or something like that. Why do they, why do they have to, like... Like, just try to sandwich them in these awkward places. It's just not good. At all. I don't understand this. The reason why they, they sandwich the... The reason why... Why movies and Tom and Jerry... Work good separately... Is because... It's because Tom... Uh, but you can, like, put them together as a snack. Not, like, inside, but, like, on the side. It's because, it's because, well, 
It's because the sandwich, you can eat the sandwich first, you can eat the chips first, and then eat the sandwich. You can enjoy them separately without without making the taste clash. Which, which I gotta be honest, is way more better than just showing chips in a sandwich. And I feel like they just remove all the vegetables and replace it with the Tom and Jerry chips. Which I gotta be honest, I mean, it's not... Which I gotta be honest, one... Who puts chips in sandwiches? Like, I'm actually going to go, like, I, I'm actually gonna ask you. I'm, I'm actually asking the person who thought of this, why? And two, what in the hay? Why? And secondly, why even think of this? Why even try it? It's gonna end up strange. Sure, there's gonna be people who there's gonna be people who like it, but it's just what is this? Like, actually, what is this? Sure, there's people who can bear chip sandwiches, but as someone who grew who watched a lot of old movies, I feel like they're just like disrespecting them completely. Like, what is this? It's, 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 it's mean, it's disgusting. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I do not, con I do not want people to do this ever. And second of all, what is this? Why, why, why do you try, why do you think this? Why do you even think this is, this is a good thing? Look, you can, you can put, you can put chips in a sandwich all you want. Sure, if you have that weird type of taste, if you're a college kid who really just doesn't care about the taste at all and consists of ramen and Hot Pockets and just needs something to eat, okay, go for it. Like if you're gonna binge something. But if you're actually going to try and enjoy it, like actually you're eating it for the taste reasons, then don't at all. Just like try them separately. T Tom and Jerry movies are like just big bags of chips or party mixes. They're good. They're delicious. There's some things that you probably don't like in them. You'd be like, oh man, I really like the pretzels and corn balls in this. I don't like the pretzel sticks that are unseasoned. I mean, yeah, you could say that. That's reasonable. But there's, but there's at least something to enjoy in them. But the, but they're just, but the Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry sandwich between, sandwich inside a sandwich of a movie. It's not something that you should do at all. I give the Tom and Jerry movie series a three out of 10. They're horrible, it's stupid. And the only way I can enjoy this if I was five years old again and had nothing to do. Anyways, yeah. See you guys. And remember, drink your water. Female present, you're leave. Uh, people have to be legally off. I'm gonna change the word of chocolate to chalky. So <laughs> chocolate milk, they have to call it chalky milk. <laughs> They're gonna impeach me the second I'm gonna call it that.